this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on branch accounts, accounting for branches, independent branch. Independent branch means branch that maintains independent books of accounts. And when branch maintains independent books of accounts, branch can prepare its own trial balance. And after preparing the trial balance, branch sends that trial balance to head office. On the basis of that trial balance, head office prepares branch trading account, profit and loss account and branch balance sheet. And that trading profit and loss account and balance sheet or that trial balance is absorbed by head office in its books of accounts. This is how the accounting of branch, accounting of an independent branch is being operated. So to identify a sum, whether the sum is of independent branch or a dependent branch. In case of dependent branch, there are two systems that you have learned. Debtor system and stock and debtor system. In case of independent branch, there is no such system. If you are given trial balance of the branch, you should always understand that the branch has maintained its independent books of accounts. That is the peculiarity. How the accounting is done by head office in case of independent branch, that I want to make clear. Just observe the sum that I intend to solve and explain. This is the sum which I wish to solve here before you. The following is a trial balance was sent by Dharwad branch to HO at Mysore. Debtors, creditors, purchase and sales, goods from HO, carriage invert, discount, opening stock, furniture, commission, salary paid for 11 months, rent for 13 months, 1300, insurance, office expense due to HO. Stock on 31st of December 2016, 6000. Insurance was paid for the year ended on 31st of March 2017. Bad debts for debtors at 8%. HO sends branch the use of plant value 3000 and the depreciation was to be charged at 10%. Incorporate the branch accounts in the books of HO by means of journal entries. Prepare the branch account in the books of HO. Now see, this is a trial balance adjustments are given to you. First of all, we shall prepare trading account, profit and loss account balance sheet for the branch on the basis of this trial balance and adjustments given to us. Let us start with that. Suppose that this is what has been prepared by branch. In the books of branch, after preparing trial balance, branch has prepared, has prepared trading profit and loss account and balance sheet. If branch has not prepared or the trial balance is sent to HO, HO may prepare the trading profit and loss account and balance sheet. After preparing that, HO will start absorbing the entire trading activity and profit and loss earning activity and all the assets and liabilities of the branch at the end of the year will be absorbed by HO, will be assumed by HO as if it is done by HO itself. So let us start first preparing this trading and profit and loss account. This is a branch account prepared in the books of HO that I am going to discuss at a later stage. Closing stock. Trading account credit side, balance sheet asset side. These are the two effects of the adjustment. Next adjustment, insurance paid for the year ended on 31st of March 2017, insurance paid 240. So 12 months amount is 240, 3 months is the prepayment. So we want to find out prepaid insurance. 12 months payment is 240. How much for 3 months? 60 is the prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance will appear on the balance sheet asset side and 240 minus 60 is the insurance expense that will be debited to profit and loss account 180. So 240 minus prepaid 60. So insurance expense debited to profit and loss account. This part is trading account. This part is profit and loss account. Third adjustment. Bad debts for debtors at the rate of 8%. So 7,000 into 8% bad debts. Bad debt is a loss. Debited to profit and loss account and deducted from debtors. So 7,000 are the debtors, less bad debts, so 6440 and this bad debt is debited to profit and loss account. This is how bad debts adjustment is recorded. Now, HO has sent to branch 
the use of plant value 3000 depreciation was to be charged at 10 percent now see ho has given plant to branch branch uses it but the balance of plant account is not transferred in the books of ho so plant account is in the books of ho but the plant is used by a branch so depreciation on plant is provided but the depreciation is to be charged by head office to the branch so consider for a while the depreciation expense is charged by ho to the branch so expense of branch debited to profit and loss account of branch and the asset account is to be deducted for depreciation that is not there in the books of branch that is done in the books of ho so you are required to write the adjustment entry so what is the adjustment entry for this situation let me work out the depreciation first of all it works out it works out to be 300 so dharwar branch account debit to plant account so depre plant account is in the books of ho ho credits plant account for the depreciation in the books in its books so in ho plant account is to be credited with depreciation but the depreciation cannot be debited to the profit and loss account of ho because the plant is being used by branch so profit and loss account of branch is to be debited so the adjustment the transfer of depreciation is to be made to branch account so dharwar branch account debit to plant account credit so here branch account is debited and plant account will be credited in the books of ho this branch account is prepared by ho now this depreciation will be debited to profit and loss account the plant account is required to be credited but the plant account is not there in the asset side so the depreciation transfer will be made to ho so here the entry will be made depreciation on plant account debit to ho account credit so ho account is to be credited for depreciation on plant so for depreciation you are required to write the transfer entry to ho because you don't have that asset plant in the on the face of your balance sheet or in the trial balance of branch so in trial balance of branch asset doesn't exist so depreciation is to be transferred by debiting to profit and loss account to ho this is how adjustment entry is recorded in the books of both now hidden adjustments 11 month salary 11000 1 month salary outstanding 11 month salary is 11000 12 month salary is 12000 1 month salary 1000 is outstanding so 12000 salary debited to profit and loss account 12000 and 12000 minus 11000 1000 is the outstanding salary that will appear on the balance sheet liability side so 12000 expense for the year debited to profit and loss account and 1000 outstanding salary is recorded on the liability side of the balance sheet rent is paid for 13 months so one month prepaid 13 months rent is 1300 how much for 12 months 1200 so 1200 rent is debited to profit and loss account one month rent is prepaid that prepaid rent will appear on the balance sheet asset side so 1300 minus 1200 prepaid rent 100 will appear on the balance sheet asset side this is how adjustment entries are considered after this i am required to copy the trial balance so creditors balance sheet liability side purchase is debited to trading account sales credited to trading account goods from ho is just like purchase is debited to trading account carriage in were debited to trading account discount debited to profit and loss account the credit balance of discount 2000 credited to profit and loss account stock opening stock trading account debit furniture balance sheet asset side commission income profit and loss account credit salary rent and insurance is being done office expenses debited to profit and loss account due to ho this is a 5000 is a debit balance recorded on the debit side and this 1400 is will be recorded on the credit side but in case of ho it will be opposite entry opposite balance so 5000 is the debit in the books of branch means credit in the books of ho for branch so this 5000 will be recorded in the branch account credit side here debit and here credit important why because when ho says that branch is a receiver branch says ho is a giver 
When H.O. says branch is the giver, H.O. When H.O. Says, says that branch is the giver, branch says that H.O. is the receiver, debit the receiver and credit the giver. So when branch becomes receiver, then branch says that H.O. is given. So balances are always opposite. 5000 and 5000 debit here credit and 1400 here credit and here it is debit. This is an important point. Now all the details are considered. Let me find out the gross profit. Total of expenses 19,000, 50,000. So 50,000 minus 19,000 you will get the gross profit that is transfer to profit and loss account 31,000. From this 31,000 this 2,600 income will be added and expenses will be deducted. So 33,600 minus 16,900. So you will get the net profit. Net profit is transfer to Capital account, the name of capital account is HO account. So 16,700. Now find the closing balance. This is the closing balance of capital because HO account is a capital account in the books of branch. So this capital will appear on the balance sheet liabilities and HO account. Now have a total of balance sheet. The total of assets and liabilities should agree. This is how the balance sheet is prepared. So branch has given a trial balance to HO. HO has prepared this trading profit and loss account and balance sheet. Or branch has prepared this trading profit and loss account and balance sheet and submitted to HO. Both means the same thing. Now the absorption entry that all this trading activity is to be assumed by HO. All this profit and loss account expense payment and income receipt done by branch at the instance of head office that has to be assumed by HO. All the assets of the branch will be taken by the head office at the end of the year and all the liabilities is to be absorbed by head office of the branch for that we are required to write down the adjustment entry and when the adjustment entry is recorded the branch trading account branch profit and loss account branch balance sheet branch balance sheet is not prepared but branch trading account branch profit and loss account is prepared in the books of HO now let me start adjustment entry now in books of HO the same thing see formerly it was books of branch. Now same thing, if it appears in the books of HO, how, what are the changes? Notice it, that's very important. So, look at the title. These are the titles. Now I'll write the entries. So, branch trading account limit 19,000. Now this purchase is carriage in, purchases are made by branch carriage account. Inward expense paid by the branch. Branch has done all these expenses. Now branch has done all these expenses for head office. So branch is the giver, credit the giver. So branch account is to be credited with 19,000 and branch trading account is to be debited. So branch trading account debit to branch account credit 19,000. This is a narration very, see very important style of writing the narration. All these things are absorbed by head office and the branch account will be credited with 19,000. So here the trading account got debited and branch account got credited. Now this trading account when absorbed in the books of HO, how it looks like and when the trading and profit and loss account is prepared by the branch, how it appears, how it looks like that I have already demonstrated. Now this 50,000 goods are sold by a branch on behalf of HO. When the goods are sold by branch for HO, branch is the receiver, debit the receiver, branch is the receiver of funds, debit the receiver. So branch account debit to branch trading account credit. So here branch account is to be debited, trading account is credited. Now this gross profit is transferred to branch profit and loss account. So branch trading account debit to branch profit and loss account credit. This is how three entries are recorded for absorption of trading account. Now I want to start absorbing the profit and loss account. So all these expenses are paid by branch for HO. So expenses paid by the branch, branch is the giver, credit the giver and all these expenses are debited to the profit and loss account of branch. So branch profit and loss account debit to branch account credit. Being following expenses are incorporated 
in branch profit and loss account. But the all these expenses are absorbed. Now, right on the credit side of branch account, all the expenses debited branch profit and loss account debit to branch account credit. Now for this 2600. Branch account debit to branch profit and loss account credit. Because branch is the receiver of this incomes and gains. So branch account debit to branch profit and loss account credit. So 2600 branch account is to be debited for that. Now the net profit 16,700. So branch profit and loss account debit 16,700 to general profit and loss account credit. This is how profit gets transferred branch from branch profit and loss account to general profit and loss account. So these are the three entries recorded for profit and loss account. Now I'm required to absorb all the assets. All the assets are taken by HO from branch at the end of the year. So which are the assets taken? Furniture account debit, branch furniture account debit, traders account debit, stock account debit, prepaid rent account debit, prepaid insurance account debit, to branch account credit, being assets incorporated. So branch account is to be credited with all these assets. Now liabilities are to be assumed. So creditors account debit, Creditors and outstanding salary. So, creditors are assumed. When the creditors are taken, liability is taken. Then what happens? When we take the liability, the person whose liability we have taken becomes a receiver. So, branch account debit to branch creditors to outstanding salary. So, branch account is to be debited for that 1000. Now, all the absorption entries are done. Now have a total of branch account. Creditors are recorded. Now all these absorption entries are recorded. Trading account is absorbed. Profit and loss activities are absorbed. Assets and liabilities absorbed. Now at the end of the year, branch do not have a separate existence other than head office. Head office cannot write in its books of accounts amount due from branch or amount payable to branch because the legal existence or the existence of branch and head office is considered considered to be the same one identical unified existence so i can't say that amount due from myself just like i say that amount due from branch it is like what amount due from myself amount payable to myself that situation can never occur so this total of branch account should ag should agree on both the side so total 56860 this is how the total of branch account on debit and credit must agree implies that nothing is recoverable from branch or nothing is payable to the branch at the end of the year. And that's why this total of branch account should agree. So this is how absorption entries are recorded in case of independent branch. Just observe all these entries. I have recorded nine entries, three for trading, three for profit and loss, six and two for the absorption of asset and absorption of liabilities. So I have tried to explain you all these things. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to